in today's video we are going to be learning how to integrate Zapier with WTravel Travel plugin. Zapier is an internet platform that connects your apps and services to help you automate your operations. This enables you to automate processes without having to create your own integrations. WTravel Zapier is a module that enables users to create Zapier automation for WTravel bookings and inquiries. You can easily create the Zaps and integrate them with WTravel with the help of WTravel Zapier, helping you to get the notifications or keep the record of your own chosen web apps of inquiry and bookings. WTravel Zapier is a module included in WTravel Pearl plugin. So to include and integrate Zapier automation feature, you have to download and install WTravel Pro plugin. To find out how to integrate WTravel Zapier with WTravel plugin, please follow this step-by-step -step guide. So first of all, after activation of WTravel Pro plugin, you need to enable WTravel Zapier modules in add-on settings by going to WTravel and settings and from there to add on settings and if you scroll a little bit down here you will be able to see the travel zapier which should be enabled if the toggle is disabled then please enable it and save your settings after enabling the travel zapier you need to see zapier automation options in miscellaneous options tab by going to settings and miscellaneous option and here if you scroll a little bit down you will be able to see zapier automation title under that you can see Two options which are currently disabled. The first one says enable inquiry automation. After enabling inquiry automation option and booking automation option, you need to add webhook which will get after creating the zap. Same as in the booking automation process, to get the webhook you need to create the zap. To know how to create a zap, follow this step by step guide. To create a zap, please visit the link on your screen. After visiting the Zapier site, you can sign in using your Google, Facebook or Microsoft account so for now i'm going to continue with google after signing in and logging into your account click on this black create a zap button to create a new zap now you need to enter a name for zap and also a box appears where you need to search the webhooks and select webhooks by zapier so here you can see webhooks by zapier just pops up when you select webhooks by zapier a box appears where you need to select catch hook from drop down option in choose trigger events and finally click on this continue button after clicking on the continue button you will get the webhook api which will look something like this just copy and paste the provided api in the inquiry webhook field of wp travel zapier under zapier automation and go to wp travel and just paste it in here now make sure you don't forget to click on this test inquiry zap option and click on save settings. Now again on the Zapier side you need to click continue which will redirect you to the next tab where you will see the test trigger option. Click on test trigger button to test it. Click on continue and select the app you want to use under the app event. In this example we will create Zapier automation for WTravel travel inquiry after adding the required API key and clicking on find hook in action to select any of the apps. Here we will choose Google Sheet. After adding the required API key, click on test trigger in app event. Here we choose a Google Sheet and now we will click on continue. Now we will select an account. And after choosing the account, click on continue. Here in the fields, make sure you have selected the same options that I have selected. You can also drop down the options and see the other options as well. Now once you're done with selecting the right options, click on continue and after that test action will appear where you need to click on test and continue and finally you will get the message which will be saying test was successful click on turn on zap and finally you can see your zap will be on and now if you head over to your google sheets here you will find newly added rows in the sheet on your front end page when a user type in their credentials you will be able to see that the information will be saved in your google sheet so that was it for this video i hope you learned something new in this one if you did so make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and share with your friends until next time peace